So today we're at the lovely Dollar Tree. We just finished shopping, but Sean wants to buy a new toy. So here you go, and out of his ashtray. So we're gonna go inside. It's open from eight to seven, and on Sunday, eight to eight. But not all holidays. Nine to eight, sorry, I got the numbers all wrong. So he wants that one. Yes, he does. You gotta put four four quarters in there somehow. It's a double slaughter. You can see the, oh, I see. the other stuff down here. You got the, those are good. Those are good. They're all good. Okay, here we go. All right. Make sure to, make you sure. Oh, it's not candy. Okay, it's a ball. Let's see what I got. All right. Okay, this will be right there. What? Ooh, I right got there, Articu, or, which one is this? I forget. It's one of the legendary Pokemon. Uh, Volt something. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. Maybe it says on the back. No, I don't. Yeah, no, it says it's made in China 2007. Old surplus. There's the dollar store. Here you go. Ooh, see if you can record yourself on the thing. Like, oh, yeah. So they got this new <laughs> camera system. Check this out. It's like zooming in to people. Uh, uh, there's a thing, there's a thing there we the go. See all those little boxes? I don't know what they're doing, but... It's, it's trying to let you know that I just watched <laughs> I am a paying customer. <laughs> Hello, Dollar Tree. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, don't forget to use the free hand sanitizer. Ooh, it squirted <laughs> on me. It's probably watered down. <laughs> watered down hand sanitizer. I bet. Well, that's a cool truck. Look at that vehicle. That's a nice truck, too. Why all the cool trucks here? There's a pop around that one. Anyway, I'm getting this car. This silica, I stole a rock from Dollar Tree. It was sitting outside. I don't know if that counts as stealing, but look at that. Nice rock. I think it technically is stealing. Because it's on their property, so it is their property. And you just took Objects it. in the mirror are closer than they appear. That's a tight cut. There's another nice truck. There's a caddy with no <laughs> license plates. Yeah, so we're in like the ghetto part. This is yeah, where all the homeless people live. Yeah, we took in our cans just across the street. But... Yeah, let's go here. We'll drive by. Yeah, we'll do a drive by. The okay. Delta Park bottle drop. Yeah. Uh, you just did. You're supposed to. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Well, no, I'm not gonna. We're doing a drive by, I'm so. I'm not trying to get in an accident. I just. <laughs> having a little fun. Where's my rock? Anybody know? No, no, I'm. Fun chat, whatever that means. Fun chat? Fun chat, okay. Yes. You want some Burger King? Uh, no, I, I think you got some. Food. Yeah, this is the. Here's the bottle drop. So there's the DMV. Right there, DMV. This is like the sketchiest bottle drop. Department of Motor Vehicles for you foreigners. And then there's the bottle drop. This is where you take your cans. And we did a good job. We got like bags. This where all, okay, yeah. That's where all the um, homeless people and you know how homeless people are. They can, the white ones, of course. Uh, what do you, don't just say that. No, it's always white people and they're always like kind of a little crazy, kind of like me. Well, that's because But they're homeless, so they're a little different. There's usually a mental health issue that is causing them to be homeless. Yeah. But anyway, see, there's some more. No, there's no homeless black don't, people around here. Don't stereotype people. I've never seen a homeless black person. Uh, they're all over the place. I've never seen a crazy black person either. It's I always it's him, always a white him, guy. I see him every it's day. It's always a white guy like me. I work security. I see them every day. Oh, you, yeah. That's yes, right. Okay. All right. So we're turning back over this way. I'll just keep rolling. Did you want to go to Burger King? Uh, are you hungry? Kind of. On the island or do you want to do Carl's Jr.? The one right there. Um, okay. Well, I don't really want Carl's Jr. Oh, uh, you don't want Carl's Jr.? All right. I kind of wanted a double cheeseburger and medium fries. Where you should go. All right. I'll just loop around then. I mean, that doesn't sound too bad. If I can get a double stacker, I guess that sounds fine. But uh, we're in uh, Delta Park right now, is what they call it. Portland, Oregon, Delta Park. Mm -hmm. 
so we're, we're just over on this part of the the land just to uh, turn in our cans but we stopped at the Dollar Tree just to get some some chicken spicy chicken fingers and some other crap I'll show you later I got an alligator that grows up to 600% yeah and I got a lobster it's a little lobster you put in the water and he goes Bloop! so not not a real lobster like it's a that. toy it's a it's toy like and I got one of those little yeah, see, look. oh Sherry's out of business oh Sherry's is gone yeah that thing is Businesses can't survive dumpstered here. I mean I don't think they're gonna I know I mean, I'm surprised so Denny's. This is a high crime area. But like a salad is, well, four dollars and fifty cents. But a cup of coffee is four dollars and fifty cents. Open All right. Late. They don't say when they're open. They're just late. <laughs> just late. <laughs> that, that means they're not going to open until they're going to be late for work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll head in here. I'll I'll hit cut. I mean, do you want to see his cool driving skills? No, I, my driving skills are just practice, not cool. Handicapped parking only. All unlawful vehicles not displaying distinguished license plates or place cards issued to handicapped persons will be towed away at vehicles on our expense. And there's no police phone number. Yeah, usually it says it's a, no, there's the, there's the regular one. It used to say how much the fine was. Yeah, it used to be $350, now it's like $10,000, I don't care. I don't park in a handicapped spot, but I do get princess parking. Princess Parking is where it's at. So here it is, 2023, in a nice Burger King. Look at that beautiful restaurant. And there's a new vending machine for sodas, and look at those beautiful hats. But look at how clean everything is, and how delicious it will be. And, uh, So what are you going to get to eat? Double cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger. I'm going to get the double stack. Surprise! Yeah, the same thing I was getting. All right. Oh, and free hand sanitizer, of course. Oh, it's a foam. So walking down this way, we see there's an unlocked keypad. Beep 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 beep. And that's where they're working there. And if I go down this far. There's an exit door, that's the B door. Or the E door, if you know city buses. Hold on, let's see if I can guess it. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. Restroom for customers only. You can't snort drugs in my restroom. It's for customers. Then over here we got a reverse no smoking sign. You saw the no racism sign on another building. It was kind of a parody, but hold on, let me just guess again. No. Hold on, maybe I'm handicapped. Well, it's still locked. No. Well, you can hear the motor running. <laughs> okay, I should stop. Here, hold on, there's just one. That's for that one there. Oh, that's a women's room. There's a men's room. So you have a skirt lady and trouser pants. And a wheelie chair on both of them. But Where's the, the boys room? It says men, men only. Look at that barcode, it's not even like, <laughs> you can't read that, please help you. Like, did they copy and copy? No, it's the same thing. Wow, someone doesn't know how to use raster graphics. And here is the Burger King Nutrition's information. So they tell you all the calories. Like, look at that, double stacker king sandwich, 1130. I mean, I don't care about, I don't count calories, but this has become law in Oregon. It was first in California, but then it became um, law that they have to post this somewhere. So there's a big thingy. You can just, you know, like a piece of art. I mean, this would, you know, in my house, this would be kind of funny. I think this would, this would make a great piece of art. But yeah, yeah, if you want me to go slowly, you can look. I got the um, double stacker. So let's see if I can find that double stacker, double stacker. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Hmm, well, they need to update their thing, but it's pretty close to a bacon, and it's like 500 calories. Who cares? But yeah, in the drive through they have to post the calories, and it was first in California, now it's in Oregon. I think Washington picked it up too. But uh, yeah, it's like some stupid law. One of those things that lawmakers diddle with. 
Like, I don't care, I'm just eating. I don't think about it. I mean, the more calories, the better, right? Uh, more calories per dollar, more calories per cent. Rolling. So this is what we got for lunch. Go ahead and sit down, is it good? Oh, they're nice and they're brown. Mm. Oh, man, delicious. They're out of ketchup packets. Oh, I found some on the floor. Yeah, this is all you got. I found some on the floor. Those aren't ours, but I think it don't matter. This is all I got. So that one has a slash through the meat. Is that yours? Uh, Mine's just a. Um, yours has bacon. Mine does. Okay. This one's yours. Okay. And then this is what I do. Oh, just. Oh, <laughs> oh that's puny bacon. Okay. Whatever. So you take the French fries. I put them on my burger. And so since I was six years old, my grandpa did it as a funny joke, and I loved it. Well. Yeah. So I hated fast food when I was a child, and I didn't get to have it very often. Just with my dad, but <clears throat> putting french fries in your burger and having it plain, that's exactly what I like. And then I hated Taco Bell until I was a teenager, but all right, here we go. Let's take a bite. Mmm, delicious. All right. So we just finished our delicious meal, and Sean decided to clean up the table. And uh, no one's here, but they left 20 cents, and I got a whole bunch of ketchup packets. It reminds me when people are just lazy and won't walk. Freaking 15 feet to a garbage can. Just have to show what about this king to hat? Does this have to go in the trash too? No, that's somebody's hat. It's, it's it was only. Fine. We're cleaning up. That's what we do. Someone else's food. It's fine. But there's another one. I think they're still in business though because their coat's sitting there. So as we walk out, hey, free Wi Fi. <clears throat> eh, I, I like litter, but. He was saying he thinks it's disrespectful to leave the food behind. I always clean myself up, you know, clean up the table. And, well, we like doing that, but uh, I think cleaning has a high job satisfaction. Custodial work has a high job satisfaction. I love cleaning up after kids. I mean, that's what I did when I was 14. I got a job in the summer. Yeah, that Chinese restaurant's been closed for a while. So we're, we're, we're in uh, Hayden Meadows. Right there, Hayden Meadows. And look, there's, there's a burnt truck over there. This is where all the homeless people were camping for a while. Um, let me zoom out here, there we go. So this is Delta Park, um, probably the sketchiest area in North Portland. And it's not dangerous or anything. You can walk down the street, well, no I, problem. It is at night. At night, yeah, that's a different story. But I mean, no one's gonna stab you or shoot you Maybe unless you're unless you're acting up. But uh, there's the DMV again. But uh, yeah, this is um, right across the river from me. And you got you got the Dollar Tree, and you got the Bottle Drop, and Dick's Harbor Store. And uh, over there is Lazy Boy. Maybe we should get a June chair. Lazy Boy, did they come up for free raccoon like they used to? <laughs> I don't think they do. And there's Walmart, that's the Walmart that we have. They're closing down, see those Oh, they're shots. closing, nice. Oh yeah, they're pulling them all out. Oh, nice. Walmart's pulling out of this county because the police aren't doing anything about shoplifting and theft. Oh, okay. It's costing him too much just to stay open. Wow. There's the restaurant depot. That's where you go to get cheap, uh, you know, bulk. And there's another. There's a chef's store. And a chef's store, yeah. So you get your knives over there and your food over there. Like, yeah, I think you need a um, a oh, card, no, so. but it's probably like cash. And like carry. a like a Costco card. I think it's just like cash and carry. Cash and carry. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one too. Cash and carry. So here, I'll keep it rolling because I want you to see this. We're turning left, right, or no, right? I was gonna take right. You're gonna take right. Anyway, here I'll get some. Union Court. So, see how it says, um, no overnight parking. East Delta Park. So, we're in Delta Park. No overnight parking. But this whole area, way back there, was full of tractors. And look at this. Look at that. Whatever that was. A couch. Oh, you're going to drive by my favorite gas station? Um, I guess. Isn't it that way? It's on the right side. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I I'll get a shot of that. I love my favorite gas station. We have to stop here. Get some gas. Yeah, get some gas there. Okay, I'll get some gas there. All right. And here we are. How do I turn in? Do uh, I, go oh, go past and then turn into the pumps. No, 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 no. What? Go no. forward. I see and then, there's a cut in right there. Yeah, yeah, right there, yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. That would have been. So it says, you can see the prices. But they got clear gas, B12, 12 um, but look at the pump. Alcohol free super. Yeah, you want to get alcohol oh, free? Oh, they do, sir. Oh, where do I get gas at? Right there at the pump. A uh, third one. Third one. 
That's for you, because it's 87 octane. Oh. But they have 110 octane? Yeah. Well, they do tires, clutches? Yeah, they do all sorts of work here. But yeah, these are the coolest pumps. Oh, one's open. I'm going to get a little picture of that. So these are all mechanical dials. You see these things turn when they're running, and I'll get a shot of that. But this is what the inside looks like. Look at that. Look, a little filter and everything. And over here we have 110 octane. Racing fuel, it says. So in Oregon, they have to do it for you. Check out those dials. But I love this gas station. It's my favorite gas station. And over there you can see the, well, it's the back side of the sign. Now you can only get on here because there's a little divider. You can only get on here going this direction. But we, li we live next to the PIR, so they have racing fuel, yeah. It looks like they're working on the pumps or maybe changing the price, but leaded, leaded fuel. Look at that. 110 octane leaded fuel. Nice. Nice. <laughs> So I was just looking closer at the pumps. So these are all mechanical. Uh, and this is clear super, they got racing fuel. But if you look closely, you can see all, uh, oh, hold on, focus, focus, there we go. Well, it's kind of a hard shot, but you can see the, well, I can't get the shot, but there's gears in there. There's like, oh, there we go. There's so many gears in there. But yeah, isn't that amazing? Those cool old pumps. These are for like airports, airplanes and, uh, stuff okay I won't go too long about how much I love gasoline so here we are back on the island at a lovely Chevron with 15 foot clearance and I just want to show you these beautiful uh, these are ugly pumps compared to the last ones you just saw but uh, no you're not allowed to you're not allowed to touch the pump okay not in Oregon this is unleaded gasoline but right now where the price is at oh there we are Four. 450, 436, and for regular, 420. And over here, I think you got a spill center. So you got your spill kit in there. And then, no, that one's, there you go, spill kit. In case you spill some oil, I don't know. But uh, here you go, there's a sign, Chevron, there you go. And they also have diesel over here, self serve diesel. So you're allowed to pump your own diesel, but you can't touch, I mean, you're not supposed to. You're not allowed to, you're not allowed to do this in Oregon. I just did. All right, so. And this one I can touch. But this one I can't touch. So yeah, Oregon, it's illegal to pump your own gas. Uh, they did, uh, they, they're kind of lenient, like they never, uh-oh. What the hell happened here? Oh. <laughs> You drove away from me. Where are you going? I'm not gonna walk home. So here I am back at home and it is baking in here. So I turned to, here we come with that, come in with our Dollar Tree surprise. Diapers in my eyes. And then a bird pooped on my brick, but I don't really care. So, we didn't show anyone what we got yet. Here, why don't you, uh... One, here, we put stuff away. Okay. Why do you have to do a video on here? Because I'm, I'm, I'm wrapping it up. So we got the paper plates. Here, I'll put the paper plates up here. On top of my styrofoam plates. Mmm, I love styrofoam packaging. I love paper plates. And stuff. There's that. Oh, I got some diapers. Got some diapers. And then this is my bubble, uh, my, my soap. And then, uh, oh, I got Arthur stickers, that's right. Yeah, I'll put that in the bed, the bathroom. Got the Dollar Tree. Please recycle. No! <clears throat> I've been picking up trash and recycling since I was a kid. I had enough of it. I like to litter, I like pollution. And I'm not gonna- a couple days. 
Well, yeah, it takes about two days to soak up. It'll soak up everyone. So six times its size. Yeah, it, so this thing will get huge, and then it gets all well, slimy. You put it in the bathtub. Yeah, you put it in the bathtub, and I then can't you play. Use the bathtub for two days. <laughs> no, well, no, you're supposed to take a bath with it. See, I got this one. So you, you put these in the bathtub, and you wait a couple days, and then they get big and slimy, and then you can slither all over and wash your body. Can I put an alligator? It's like an iguana. And I got oh pizza things. And then my snaps. And that's about it. Recycle? No. No. No, I'm not going to recycle. It's going all in the trash. I'll put the diaper right in my trash. There we go. Oh, this is... Oh, they cut out the tummy. Oh, yeah. that might be slippery when it gets bigger. But yeah, oh, this, this is what... Okay, this is all... I'll end the video with this. I'll end the video with this. So this is always one of my favorite little toys. I never had one, but I have played with them before. You know, it uses like a magnet at the end of this pencil here. And I think you can, yeah, you can draw on it like this. And then, oop. And, uh, oops, <laughs> I dropped it. But then you can erase it like this. So it's pretty cool. So I can do a uh, pamper chew. And then you just use the little slider. This one works really well. Yeah, so it's a, it's a neat, fun toy. So how it works is there's a little, there's a little, um, this is a magnet, and there's little iron filings inside this matrix. So. So I'm pulling the iron filings, kind of like any ink display, but this is a more mechanical, uh, childish version. But look at that. See how that, so that, that has a bar magnet. Pulls back down. But yeah, this is a little fun. I don't know what I'm drawing. How do I draw a diaper? There you go. <laughs> and then it's all gone. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.